bam, and just like that, now you have access to fundamental data from the Polygon.io API. Finance family, it's your other brother Adam Get Bags, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to get fundamental data from the Polygon.io API in Python. So first thing, pop open your trusty Google and Google search Polygon API. And then here we have Polygon.io. So let's click in there. If you haven't seen my first couple videos, I show you how to get set up with the website and get your API key. So we can kind of just move along real quickly here. So we're gonna click under REST API docs. We'll open that up. And then here we'll click into our Python client library over here, which will bring us to GitHub. But then we're gonna click in here to the read the docs. Awesome, now I'm gonna flip over to the script here. All the scripts for my videos are available on the GitHub. I'll put the link in the description for you. First thing, just make sure you pip install Polygon API client. It's in the other videos. And we're gonna import our modules here. We got our API, you know how we do. And then here is our creating a client object. So you can find this in the documentation. If we flip over to our Python docs under get started here, we're going to see we have our pip install and then we have our first couple stabs at creating a client. Now the request we're going to use is a paginated endpoint here. We're going to copy this block of code out right here and we're just going to change around some of the functions and the parameters. So up next in our script here, we're just assigning a stock ticker. If you've seen my previous video with the Polygon Git stock tickers, you can have a huge list and you can kind of loop through all the names and get all the financial data that you need. Anyways, here, we're gonna paste the block from the documentation. As you'll see, I just renamed the list here, but we're gonna change out this function here and I'll show you where to find this in your docs. So if we go back to our Python docs and we go to the sidebar here under VX, we're gonna find our method that we can use to get financials. So we're gonna use client.vx.liststockfinancials. And then you can see here, there's a ton of parameters. So you can add a ticker here, and there's a couple of different ways to search for companies, but what's important too is you have the filing dates. So you can use these parameters here, filing date less than, less than equal to, greater than, greater than, equal to, to specify you know which financial statements to return. So we're gonna add a couple of parameters. We're gonna use the ticker parameter, and then we're also gonna use the filing date underscore GT here for greater than. So if you also look in your Polygon docs, you can scroll down here in the sidebar to stock financials, and then you can see the different parameters. So it explains here some information on the filing date, but we're using the Python client. So we need to use this as our parameter. So you can go ahead and copy out list stock financials so you can paste in your list stock financials function here and then we're going to specify a stock ticker and then we're also going to specify a filing date for greater than so any reports that have been issued after the first of february of 2022 so it should return at least like four sets of financial statements then we're going to loop through here and just add everything to a list let's go ahead and run that and just make sure that's all working so if we type data we can see here it's just a ton of data it's very unorganized looking so we're going to definitely want to navigate to that a little bit so we can tell that that variable data is list so let's look at the first item so we're looking at the first item of data here and it's a special object so let's take a look using the dear function to see what other methods and attributes this object has. So when we're looking at the stock financials object, you can tell it has some different attributes here like the filing date. So here you can also look at the start date of the financial statements and you can also look at the end date of the financial statements. So this gives you, you know, the period that the statements are for. We're probably gonna wanna take a look at financials here. So let's go ahead and just take a little closer look and see what happens. So we're looking at this object here, financials, and it looks like it has balance sheet here and it probably has some other attributes. So let's take a look using the dear function here. All right, looks like it has balance sheet, cash flow statement, comprehensive income and an income statement. So let's take a quick dive into the income statement. Okay, looks like obviously another object. So let's continue to look using the dear function 
to see what can we get out of the object. Looks like some income statement line items. This is probably the shortest income statement I've ever seen for such a large company. All right, then if we take a look using the dear function at our income statement, we can see that there's a couple of line items we can pull out of the income statement. So let's just take a quick look at revenues. So here we're looking at revenues and looks like we can actually pull a value out of the revenues. So let's go ahead and try that and see what happens. Look at that number, almost $83 billion of revenue for Q2 2022. Bam, and just like that, now you have access to fundamental data from the polygon.io API. API. You could probably do something cool like make a time series of the financial data or comparable analysis, something like that. This is the second video of the series. We got more coming, so stay tuned. Watch out for those red candles. Let's go get these bags.